In February, Morena Colombi was hospitalised as Italy's second certified case of COVID-19. But it was three weeks later when she tested negative when her real nightmare began. La stanchezza... Absolute tiredness, as if you haven't slept all night. Muscle pain, tremoring hands, headaches, loss of memory and a struggle to breathe. The 59-year-old is one of many ex-COVID patients still suffering. In May, she founded a Facebook support group which now has 11,000 members. I feel proud because I understand that they really need this group to know they are not alone in confronting this period post-COVID. Church officer Emanuele Mangili is also struggling to return to his former life, battling aching bones and muscles. What makes me more scared than if the symptoms don't pass is that they won't be recognized as a post-COVID condition. While Laura Pulitzer feels like she's aged 10 years since her negative result in April. Starting from the nausea, tremors, memory loss and a debilitating tiredness, eight months have passed and my fear is that the symptoms will never go away. Their testimonials are supported by a study conducted in a hospital in Brescia. It found that out of 500 patients, 40% still had symptoms after two months. The 40% have symptoms that affect the respiratory system. There is also a high number that have general physical symptoms such as tiredness and more than 50% with psychological problems such as insomnia, concentration loss and depression. Many ex-patients feel neglected by the healthcare system and want more support. The group is waiting for a government response. We feel like ghosts. We are asking for help and recognition. Last week, Italy recorded 993 deaths in a single day, its highest ever daily death toll. The rate of contagion in Italy's second wave of infection is now finally slowing down, but the government says restrictions will remain in place over the festive season in a bid to prevent a third wave in January. We are becoming a population of sick people, and so while lockdown is difficult now, it is necessary for the future. A future uncertain for many still unable to overcome the effects of the virus.